Well, one last game against Fide Master Zed Madge 23, 2188. Alright, let's see if we can end with two really fun games. Please let us know what you think of the slightly slower time limit. Because uh, uh, most of the time on Hack Attack, I am playing 3 0. I often unwind at the end with a little bit of one minute chess, bit of bullet. But, uh. What do, you, what do you think of this slower time control? Would you like to see us play something even more slow? Please do let me know. Send me a tweet at TURandall. You can send, uh, send something to John at Hong Kong John, to Chesscom, and to Chesscom TV. Uh, Alright, I'm going to play this A3 line. Uh, I have a few ideas in this position, but this is the one that's most fun. The idea is E6, we go B4, we do fun things, and then we mate him on the dark squares, and we win all of our opponent's pieces or you know devastating checks things you know you get you get the picture uh okay a6 is very grown up let's play bishop c4 we're still waiting for e6 so we can go b4 now b5 bishop a2 c4 is an interesting way of playing this position um, that's what he's decided to go for. Okay, we're just going to castle. The question is, how bad is this bishop? Pretty bad? Monumentally bad? Or horrendously bad? Uh, I don't know. Let's go e5. Can we go d3 and bring it back into the game? Yeah, I'm not entirely certain I was supposed to go b4 against a6, now that I think about it. But, uh, yeah, I'm probably thinking about it too much. Ooh, d5. Looks to me, guys, like he's trying to block this bishop out of the game. Me thinks this is what my opponent is trying to do. Wow. We're having none of that. Well, technically knight f5 is quite a good move here, but surely he'll play queen takes d6. Yeah, there we go. Well, it's a good thing that we have two bishops here, guys, because one of our bishops really isn't doing very much. Uh, but maybe we can go a4 and get it back into the game. Yeah. Well, on the plus side, we can just get our opponent to lose on... Oh, we can't get our opponent to just lose on to learn. Okay, that's it. We're, we're out of ideas. We might as well just resign. But, okay, we'll play We'll play for a little bit. Uh, ooh, knight t4. I wasn't expecting that. Isn't he supposed to, like, castle and develop pieces or something? Ah, well. Let's go for a bit of undermining of his pawn chain. Hey, uh, we didn't seem that bothered by that. Well, let's go for some undermining of the pawn gene combined with cunningly tucking my king in the corner. Uh, he, he didn't he didn't seem that bothered by that one either. Oh. Well. Well, we'll we'll, we'll show him. Uh, I guess. Now, if I take. Ooh, he's got a cheapo here. So if I take on b5 takes, knight takes b5, forks the queen and bishop, but then queen c6, forks the knight and mate. And then I look very foolish. So we're not we're not going to do that. However, it's a lot easier to work out what we're not going to do than to work out what we are going to do. Uh, which is another way of saying we're not doing very well. But... Uh, on the plus side, we're not going to lose all of our pieces, and we're going to play queen e2. <sighs> How do we get counterplay here? I don't know. This is the kind of position I would love to play black in. I mean, there are so many tactics. I mean... You can just see knight g3 check, pawn takes, queen to the h file is mate with the bishop covering g1. For the time being, his queen can't get to the h file, but but okay. Knight e4, bishop takes e4. Queen takes e4, bishop takes there. Okay. Knight e4, bishop takes, bishop takes. I see. So what we have here 
is not a good position. You know what? I think queens are overrated. I mean... I mean, look. He gets a couple of pieces. I get a couple of pieces. The game goes on. I mean, not not for very much longer, but the, ga the game goes on. All, all we need is... Well, we have to not blunder a bishop here. Bishop takes allows takes and queen d5. Knight takes allows queen c6. So we go back. Three, five. We have two pieces for a queen. Come on. We have something for a queen. 24 seconds against a minute 10. Uh... <clears throat> Uh, how do we get counterplay? I feel like I might have left it too late for the typical Grand Prix F5. Oh, I see what the problem was. I moved a pawn to F4, which is very much like moving a pawn to F5, in that it creates, creates unnecessary weakening of my position. I feel like I'm learning something tonight. Probably I won't learn something on a permanent basis, but uh, but hey. Alright, we're back to having two full pieces for a queen. Um, Alright, maybe if we can get pawns rolling down the board, we'll have something. So we need to get this bishop round here, and then push the c-pawn. All the while keeping an eye out for tactics for both sides. If we can get our opponent short enough on the clock, then maybe we have a chance here. But looks like tactics are all in my opponent's favour right now. Uh, that's probably a very nice finish from my opponent. And it's going to be mate in a move or two here. I have to say my opponent's played this very well. Do we have a miraculous perpetual? No. No, we don't. I mean, we're threading mate in two. We just about made a move there, but we're getting mated. So any way that we're not getting mated. Wow! Look! Look! Look at! Look at us go! We have things. Strange things are happening. Uh. What? What? What on earth? It's fine, guys. We just ran our king to uh, to h7. It's fine. And and this looks like uh, the end. Uh, I I I knew I knew queens were overrated, guys. Qu queens are overrated. I think this guy deserves a rematch and uh we'll, we'll make this the last game of the night. Whew. Well, Uh, okay, well, you remember how earlier we won with a dragon? Well, we did it by attacking this knight. Oh, that, this time he's defended the knight on d4. Oh, well, we're completely out of ideas now. Are we supposed to play knight here? Man, it'd be so useful to know some theory. Okay, we'll go here.
We'll just transpose into some kind of normal dragon. Have I have I messed this up? No, okay, now we're back in the main line. Well, D five's the main move. Let's play takes. I don't know the theory to D five at all. Whereas I have this I have the vaguest of ideas I know what I'm doing here. So I know if king b1, then queen a5 is a mistake because of knight d5. So if king b1, I have to go queen c7 first, and then rook fc8, and then I can go queen a5. If he goes g4, h4, I think I can play queen a5 straight away because knight d5 is mapped with queen takes d2 check. Okay, look, we things that we're saying are happening on the board. This is good. And then h4. And then we can go h5, or we can not go h5. Those are literally literally the two options we Let's go h5. And then g4, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna leave it. It's all about open lines here. And we don't want to take and then there and then things. I, th I don't know. Is it, this kind of looks normal to me. I mean, takes. I go knight takes. And then he goes bishop takes. And then I take back with the king. And I say that he can't mate me. I mean, I can say that he can't mate me. I mean, that doesn't mean he can't mate me. But it, but I'll say it. And then I go queen a5. And we're, we're back in this rook takes c3 territory. And, and counterplay and stuff. Don't know. Yeah, I, yeah. Apart from that first game, which was a little bit positional, I, I quite like this time control. But yeah, as as ever, please please do give us feedback. Uh, don't forget that there are highlights of I think I believe all of the previous hack attacks on uh, Chess.com's YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed to that, then I really recommend you do so because it's not only my stuff that's on there. I mean, let. Let's face it, that, that's all the really bad, good stuff. But uh, but there's, there's actually a load of stuff on that channel, and it's uh, it's fantastic. Highlights from uh, from previous broadcasts, uh, tournaments, uh, Danny Wrench's Bullet Brawls. I'm, I know that there are quite a few fans of that out there. Uh, so yeah, I really recommend getting involved in that. Anyway, F4. My opponent's going to go F5 and mate me. Hmm... This guy is definitely playing pretty well, apart from the not winning of the last game. Queen there, f5, rook takes. Yeesh. Got knight g3 as an option here. I'm just not sure why knight g3 would be a good move. He's just going to play this f5 move and it really annoys me. I don't really know what to do about it. I'm going to play this move because because I don't really see a better option. Now, Bishop c4 is fine. Rook takes. No, I don't know. It's just not any good. Bishop c4, queen d4 check. Yeesh. This is going wrong. But we haven't got mated yet. And this is probably better than the last game. But uh, I don't like how simple my opponent's position is here. Let's just go rook g1. Oh, kind of... Oh, yeah, and he just plays it. I kind of want to win this game and go out on a high. Um, ooh. Just going to bring the queen over. Do we have to go all defensive? We're going to go for the positional exchange sacrifice. Yeah, you can you can tell I'm doubting it even as I play it. But uh, but Nigel Short once used a similar exchange sacrifice to draw a game against Kasparov, so 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 there. 
Uh, all we need to do is draw this game, and uh, and we've won the mini match, one and a half to half. And okay, this is this actually looks reasonable. Look at look at these pawn islands he has, and uh, you know I've always thought that queens and rooks were overrated, or you know, well I don't know. Well, I think I have some decent chances to hold this, but um. I could do with rerouting this knight to e5. If I can get the knight there, it's sitting on a fantastic outpost and it's almost as good as one of his rooks. What's my opponent's plan here? I always feel like I'm walking into some kind of tactic because this guy's playing pretty well. But oh, His idea is takes and if pawn takes e5 check. So I'm going to take back with the knight. Hang on, he can go e5 check straight away. King takes, pawn takes. Wow, this is complicated. And maybe he wasn't intending to do any of that at all. But there we go. I have absolutely no idea what's going on in these games. But e5 looks really interesting. King take. I think I'm okay now. Think this knight gets here and everything's fine. Or or everything falls apart. It's possible that it's the latter option. King there, bishop h3 check. Okay, I've got to play this move. He's going to go h5. I have to go here. Are, are we somehow okay? We don't really deserve to be okay here. We're being saved from being mated by his pawn. Let's bring the bishop back to f7. Uh, we just need to exchange some things off. The, the ending is okay. I have no idea what's going on. Um, am I okay here? Three, five? I'm up on the clock, which is a good thing. And that's a pawn back. Okay, this feels lost. Bringing the king around. Yeah, this didn't work out. How come How come the strong GMs know how to play this position and I don't? Join us for more rhetorical questions. Uh, okay, this time I think his extra queen is worth something. Uh, let's see if my opponent will take a one minute game as a, as a decider. Um, how do we do this? We just click on our opponent. Oops. Ah, uh, let's just accept the rematch. <sighs> yeah, one reason I was desperate to... I just wanted to win that series, but... Okay, we will go to a decider. We can't end both the first half and the second half of the show at 1-1. So I'm going to say good luck to my opponent. And play e4. Wow, what is this? I'm not certain I believe this opening. Far too tired to work out good moves here. Not even certain I recognise what good moves look like at the moment. Uh, well, that's not a terrible move. Let's play that. Probably we could have played that move a few moves ago. Bring the knight in here. 
play it all positionally. This used to be really uh, a really popular opening with the with the Oxford University team actually a few years ago. I'm trying to work out how many some, something depressing like eight or nine years ago. Uh, there were quite a few players that used to play this way. Uh, not because it's good, just because it's different, I guess. And it's a bit of fun. But okay, let's play Queen D3 and get out of the pin. <coughs> mm. Alright, well we have our two bishops. Let us see what we can do with those. If we bring the bishop to F4, then uh, then everything's fine. We so oh have I just allowed knight takes d4? I can't be no. Oh I don't even know. Queen h3 check. Queen e6. Uh yeah, that wasn't good. Nothing better than swapping queens here. But we got we got the two bishops and some sort of lead in development. Let's see if we can fight our way back. What whatever happens here, guys, this is this is going to be the last game of uh, of tonight. So need my opponent to just blunder into a mate, but for some reason he doesn't seem want to want to do that. He's going to play six. Ooh, is there just a small possibility of him playing there? No, not really. Yeah, it's just going to play this. Now we've got a threat of b4. Let's bring a rook to a square or a pawn to a square. Or a rook to a square. Or a pawn to a square. Not sure. b4. Knight e4, we have nothing. b4, knight e4, bishop takes. Okay. Maybe we're going to be okay here. Maybe. What should we have taken first? I don't know. I don't think it makes a difference. I can't see of a potential downside. Yeah, I think we're going to regain the pawn with bishop takes... Oh, no, he's going to go bishop takes e5. Rook takes e5. No, that's fine. Then we still regain this pawn, I think. Let us see if our calculation is vaguely correct. Uh, I think it is. Which way do we take? Rook takes or bishop takes? Not sure it makes a massive amount of difference, but we're going to take this way. And then go here, because b5, bishop b4 looked annoying. And this looks reasonably boring. Uh, tempted to just offer a draw and call it one and a half all, but we're not going to do that. We're going we're gonna to fight on for a bit. f4, rook e8, f5, g6. Is annoying. What about rook e2, rook e8, rook there? Seems at least semi-playable. Rook there, rook e8. Rook there, knight e4. Puts us potentially in some problems. Ah, uh, we're definitely the tiny bit worse in this ending. He's going to play rook e8. I'll guarantee it. I don't like this position. I just need time to go rook d1, king f1, rook e1. But in the meantime, my pieces are misplaced. So we're just scratching around trying to equalise. Down on the clock as well. But, uh... But the material is equal. And... You know, we, we can play endings. Maybe we've got time to go g3, king g2, king f3. Maybe we don't. I don't see anything immediately falling apart, but 
But what do I know? I mean, even he's got a lot of interesting ways of, ways of playing this position. Just need to activate this rook, and I'll be okay. Think I can play this? I mean, it's a disaster if the knight lands on e3, but the knight should never land on e3. Yeah, in fact, we just swap off some pieces here. And then b5. And then c5. And then f4. Let's see if we can get our own pawns moving down the board. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Are we, are we in trouble here? I'm not sure. We're a bit down on the clock. Can I go after that pawn? Rook there, I'm going rook f2. really important that I don't end up being too passive here. It's all about the activity here, so I just don't want to get tied down. Uh, so I was worried about him sort of going c4 and rook in and just it all being really unpleasant. So I, as long as I have some counterplay over here, I mean, maybe I can even uh, make a play to win this game later on. I mean, we've seen this guy is a little bit susceptible when the, when the times start getting a little bit uh, low. We can maybe push this guy over the edge. In fact, are we picking up a pawn? I think we are. I mean, it's not the greatest pawn in the world, but a pawn's a pawn for all that. Uh, gonna probably try and pick a, put a rook behind that pass pawn in a second. But let's first put the king on f5. That looks like an excellent square. And then here, setting up a little trap. If rook takes c2, then rook e1 check picks up the bishop. And otherwise, I have this pawn to push. I mean, you can take that off, but but do I, do I care? Uh, look at this plan I have. Ah, rook d1 was rubbish, but okay. Well, I got him to play the move I wanted him to, so... So maybe... Well, looks like we're going to win this one. Th this series was never in any doubt, guys. It's, it's been, been plain, plain sailing. Going to move this rook, going to promote this pawn. Easy peasy. Well, okay, so you can sacrifice there if you want to. Think this is under... Con oh, don't even need to do that. What am I doing? If takes, I go queen. Mate. Don't pre-move the move that makes things difficult. Okay, my opponent lost on time. Or resigned. Well, that, that brings an end to a topsy-turvy series against uh, Z-Match 23. Thanks very much for the entertaining games.